felt so comfortable once I started finally working in sound because it was the way I wanted to work with memory. It was the way I wanted to work with narrative. And it was the way I wanted to work with the audience. When the audience member comes in, first they'll encounter a fairly dark space and they'll hear the sound of music. The music is Thomas Tallis' Speminalium. They'll see all these bare speakers around the room on simple metal stands, and they'll realize that out of each speaker comes a separate singing voice. When I first conceptualized the piece, when I first heard it on two speakers, I immediately saw it in my mind as this sculptural piece. And that's the main reason I wanted to work with it, because it was 40 different harmonies. I researched and got the score for it, and I saw the score and how it moved. Page after page, it would move like this, uh, almost like water in a river moving around. That all became part of my idea to place it in such a way that people could experience the movement from one side to another. I wanted to sort of almost deconstruct the piece of music and have the audience be able to do that for themselves. To me, the connection with the intimacy of this piece became really apparent because no audience members would stand up to a singer and stand right next to them. But technology is invisible to the audience, so they feel very comfortable with it. They walk up and they, they move around. Sometimes you see uh, people moving back and forth and all around, and other times you see people just sitting there. Our ears are designed for three-dimensional sound. You know, they're not designed for, like, mono sound the sound waves hitting your body from 40 separate speakers in such a pure way really affect you emotionally. The sound just goes totally into you. And if it's the right space, it really reverberates within your body.